Hello everybody, it's Rebecca here at Wyvern Maids, and it's the end of the month! So it means, let's take a look at all the money I spent on books! It's a book haul, guys. This is a book haul from the last two months, actually, which makes me feel not really any better about the amount of books that I have to show you, but maybe... No, not really any better, but that's okay. I have some pretty good books to show you, and some pretty good stories. No, they're just books. They're just, they're just books. Let's just get into the books. So the first two books I have to show you are both of my book of the month picks. One of them is from February, and one of them is from March. So let's do that. So February, I picked The Animators by Kayla Ray Whitaker. I liked the idea. It's a literary fiction. It's about friendship and creativity. And it, I don't know, it just sounds really cool. I used to live in LA and work in the movie industry, so like, things about that. Even though this isn't really about that, eh, they captivate me. So that's why I picked this one. The book of the month pick that I picked for March is actually Exit West by Moshid Hamid, which well, this one's actually like gotten a lot of buzz recently, so I was like, yay me, I picked right! So Exit West is a migrant love story. I believe it's set in Syria as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's very timely with the world right now, and so I thought it was a really good pick, and then apparently everybody else thinks so too, because it's like all over every bookstore you go to, and bookstagram and stuff. People are talking about Exit West, so I picked it up before that. But that's okay. Anyway, exit west. Also, again, if you want to join Book of the Month, I am not a sponsored person from them. I just really like them. And it's a fairly cheap way to get new books. And you get one every month that you pay for. Anyway, I have a discount code. Are we done? Nope. Again, I have a discount code down in the description box below. It helps me. That's about it. I get like a discount if you use my discount. So, use my discount, please, maybe, if you want. Dog's barking, I'm sorry. Next up are all the books that I bought at a store or online. The first one is A Conjuring of Light by Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab, because that's what she goes by when it's adult. Anyway, this is the third book in the Shades of Magic trilogy. I absolutely loved it, I've already read it. It's wonderful and fantastic, and I loved it so much. And if you have not read the series, what are you doing? Go read it, because it's awesome. And it has a really nice conclusion. Sometimes you don't want to start a series because you don't know if it's going to end well. Let me tell you, it's got a good, it's got a good third book. It's a chunker of a third book, but it's worth it. So if you haven't picked it up yet, do it! Do it now. I have already read this, by the way. Duh. Next up, I have four books from my trip to Second and Charles that I did in February. Because I wanted to go buy books for cheap. So I did. So I don't really like Catcher in the Rye. I read it. I think it was too old when I read it because I think it has, it's very teen angsty. And I didn't like it. I got rid of my copy. Well then, I decided I needed a copy because it's a classic and so I was doing it for my bookstagram project and I was like I need a copy for it even though I didn't use it. So anyway I picked up Catcher on the Rye by J.D. Salinger. It was only $2.75 so I don't feel terrible about this but I have owned a copy before and I got rid of it and then I bought it again. I want to read it again and see if I like it better. I don't know. We'll try. So I bought it for $3. Maybe my one day future children will like it. Next up, I bought Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt, which is a very classic memoir that I have not read. And it's winner of the Pulitzer Prize. And it was $4.90, even though this says $2.50. Was it $2.50 or $4.90? I don't know, but I bought it. Anyway, it's a New York Times bestseller. It's a Pulitzer Prize winner. It's a classic memoir. It's great. I've never read it, so I picked it up to read it. I think he's also a teacher, too. But that's a different book. That's Teacher Man, which I'll read if I like this one, because teacher. Next up, I bought Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. This one, a lot of people talked about last year on BookTube, some of my friends, like Trina and Kaylin, I think. And so I picked it up for $4.95, because I was in the mood for a good mystery. But I haven't read it yet, so don't know what happened there. But anyway, I will read it, because it sounds really interesting, and I don't know what it's about, but it's a mystery. And they raved about it. Also, if my voice is kind of shaky-ish, not sounding like me, slash energy levels are weird, it's because I'm battling a cold, and I'm still battling it, and it's been a week, and I'm tired of it, and a couple days ago I couldn't even talk, so this is like improvement, and I needed to film a video because I hadn't filmed in a while, so that's what I'm doing, even though if you can't hear me, and the energy is kind of weird, we're just going to roll with it. Last book I bought 
from Second and Charles is The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, which is the second book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. I have The Knife of Never Letting Go, which is the first book in the trilogy, but I haven't read it yet. So I shouldn't have bought this one because I don't actually know if I like the series, but I did it anyway because it was only $4.50 and the covers are just really pretty. And they had it and it was on sale and I couldn't resist it because I was like, what if I read the first one and I really want to know what happens? I want to have the second book and I can't resist it. So I kicked and I bought it. So hopefully it's really good. Let me know if you thought it was. So I have two books that I bought at The Strand, New York. I love The Strand. It's my favorite bookstore. It's amazing. I go every year that I go to New York and I always buy at least one book. This year I bought two. And both of them are books that I bought because I go to New York for the Columbia Classic Press Association. And I have a video that I filmed that I might be editing and uploading, so keep a lookout for that. It's a vlog. Anyway, so I went to a class, a creative writing class. The professor, the teacher, was talked about these two books like nonstop. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick them up. So the first one is the New York Trilogy by Paul Auster. This my professor dude, teacher guy was like in love with Paul Auster, like talked about how he used to go down to Brooklyn and just like yell this guy's name. And this was his first series, and this is the series that he recommended picking up. It's all three books in one. And so it's City of Glass, Ghosts, and The Locked Room, I think. I don't really know. I don't know much about it, but he loved it. He loves this author, and I figured what better time to, what a better book to start with. Plus this is the one he recommended to start with. So we did, so I picked it up. I'm excited to read it, because when somebody else loves a book so much, it makes me really excited to read it to find out why, and to love it, hopefully, too. Oh, and it was only like, it was like $16.95. It was a little pricey, but it's three books in one, so I felt like that wasn't that bad-ish. The other book that he raved about, he was wearing the t-shirt of it. So again, if you're gonna buy a t-shirt of a book, you really love that book. It must be pretty good, and it's The Master and the Margarita. I'm Mikhail Bulgakov. I can't say Russian names, I'm terrible, but I have heard about this one before. It's been on my radar for some years now, and then it had a cat on the cover, which doubly sold it to me. So the guy wore a t-shirt, it's on my radar, and it has a cat. Like, I'm done. I have, I bought it, I, I bought it. So, it was $7.50, which isn't terrible for a book. From the, from the Strand, it was great. So anyway, those are the two books that I got at The Strand. All right, and then today I went to the store. See, I had to renew my Barnes & Noble Educator card, and what did I do while I was there? I bought three books. Did I go in meaning to buy three books? No, I was only gonna buy one. And then I bought three. So, it happened. The first one is Agatha Christie's And Then They Were None. I've actually never read this, and it's a classic book that we teach it in school, and, well, I haven't taught it in school, but other teachers at the school where I teach, teach it, and we're talking about it the other day, and there's like an, a, an island and stuff, and I was like, that sounds really cool. So I wanted to read it, so I picked it up. Plus, I might have to teach it next year, maybe, potentially, you never know. So I bought it. Really, that's just the excuse that I wanted, that I had, but I, I wanted to, anyway, I bought it. The two books I bought, I bought because they're on Emma Watson's reading list, and I just watched Beauty and the Beast, so I kind of fell in love with Emma Watson again. Like, she's my role model. I want to be like her, even though she's younger than I am, but she played my two favorite characters, like Hermione and Belle. I just love her. Anyway, she has a Goodreads group, a reading list, called Our Sh Shared Shelf. And so I went through the whole list today, and the very first one, the one that she recommends to everybody to get, is My Life on the Road by Gloria Steinem, who I believe is a journalism and social activist and traveled all over the place, and this is her memoir. And so again, this is the one that Emma Watson like, tells everybody to read. It's the one that she like hides on subways and stuff to read, so I had to pick it up because, duh. The other one I decided to get from her reading list, I picked it up because I knew that I wouldn't be able to get like a good ebook from it, because sometimes I just like ebooks. They're easier, they're lighter, cheaper, whatnot, sometimes, and library. And so anyway, this one I knew I would have a harder time with because it's a graphic novel. The entire Persepolis collection, which also is very timely. It's a story about a girl growing up in the Tehran during the Islamic Revolution, and it's also told in comic book form. So, graphic novel. A lot of people have read it on book two. I have not. And they're making a movie, or they made a movie. 2007, so they made a movie. I never saw it. I bought the book. And finally, I have three books that were sent to me by the author. First one is The Tribulations of August Barton by Jennifer LeBlanc. This one, I think he it's about a boy in college with anxiety issues. I don't know. It looks kind of like a Perks of Being a Wallflower type, Holden Caulfield type book. So 
looks pretty interesting. And uh, thank you to Jennifer LeBlanc for sending this to me. Second, I got Bellamy and the Brute by Alicia Michaels, which is, I think, a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And again, I just watched Beauty and the Beast, I loved it. So hopefully this one is really good. It's like a modern day retelling, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna read it and find out. And finally, The Seafarer's Kiss by Julia Ember. And this is a retelling of The Little Mermaid. I believe it's a bisexual retelling of The Little Mermaid as well, which is really cool. So I'm excited about this one. Very much, very much, very much. Ah! Plus look at that cover. Such a cool cover. Such a cool cover. Well, those are all the books that I got in February and March. Yeah. So let me know if you've read any of them and what books you got this month. They're these last two months, really. And that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.